Okay, in this video, uh, what I want to do is I want to look at writing a Cartesian equation, in this case y is equal to 4x squared, as a pair of parametric equations. Now, there isn't going to be just one way of doing this, so I want to kind of explore uh, what we mean by parametric equations as part of this video. So, if we've got y is equal to 4x squared, then what you could do is you could just write it basically as x is equal to some parameter t, okay? And then you could say, well, that must mean that if y is equal to 4 lots of x squared, then y is also equal to 4 lots of t squared. And you've now written it as a pair of parametric equations, okay? So that would probably be the easiest way of doing it. But you don't have to do it that way. You could say that x is equal to 2t, for example. Now, if x is equal to 2t, then y is equal to, well, I could replace the x with 2t, and I'm going to get 4 lots of 4t squared, so I'm going to get y is equal to 16t squared. Okay? So there's not just one way of writing these equations. Um, what else could you do? I mean, you could write um, x is equal to, um, I don't know, uh, sine t. And then y would be equal to 4 lots of sine squared t. OK? So... All I've done in each of these cases is write x as some function of t, and then I can immediately write what y would be, okay, as a function of t. If I started with y, um, we could say things like um, y equals, well, let's go with t, okay. If y is equal to t, then x... What, well, what we would have is t is equal to 4x squared. Okay, so I've replaced the y with t. You could divide through by 4, so you'd have a quarter t is equal to x squared. And then what you then have, if you square root both sides, is you'd have to bring about this plus minus. Square root of the quarter is a half, and you'd have root t is equal to x. So x is equal to positive half root t and negative half root t. Now, the problem here is that we have these two versions of x. And although it's correct, and I mean, if you were to plot, um, go on to autograph or to Desmos or to another graphing pa uh, math package, then you'd put in half root t uh, as x, and y is t, and then you don't have to do another part of the curve, x is equal to minus a half root t, and y is equal to t, and it would give you two sections of the curve that could then be brought together. Now, I would advise uh, with parametric equations to avoid square rooting. Avoid anything that is going to bring about a plus minus, okay? Um, the reason being is that they, it makes it a lot harder to work with, and it also doesn't look very nice. We're not just doing it for aesthetic reasons, but I would avoid it. So any of these three were much better than this last fourth example.